here I have for you is a Odo Craft dual purpose marine 31 DP6 uh, cold cranking amps is 675 and the marine, uh, cranking is 840 amps and uh, reserve capacity is 210 it's made distributed by Odo Craft at the 5008 Airport uh, Road, Ro uh, Noki, Virginia, 24012. This is actually a very good uh, uh, marine battery. And it was issued or uh, manufactured and put out, uh, distributed on May 2013. I, The issue I have with this dual batteries is the terminal. The terminal is 5 sixteenths of uh, shred, and this terminal actually came off. So I have to get a different, um, I had to, uh, I happened to have this terminal that I decided to fit into here. So I used the power drill, drilled in between these two posts. Uh, this post actually came out so as like that. So I actually drill in between here for the negative post um, it's through here, and then I uh, screw this this uh, screw into the ter uh, battery negative terminal. So I have this one here, and I this one I removed it. So what I try to do is I use my die and tap um, tool. And because the screw shred on this screw does not fit the 5 16 inches, so I have to use the 5 16 inches as you can see here. Um, 5 16 inches uh, die to shred this die and tab. Uh, so it's the tab to uh, thread this screw. Uh, down and uh, so I can fit this knot onto here as you can see it uh, you know fit it into there perfectly but um, I can't I don't want to have this um, screwed down all the way because look I'll show you in a second this is actually drilled in like that um, it's rock solid now and so I want to get a spacer um, and you can see there's no thread uh, here because this is used this this flat area or the rectangular area is used to uh, hold the uh, wrench to screw it down so there's no room so I just uh, found, found I found this spacer here and I just press it down like that do it again uh, here we go press it down like that and then put a uh, washer down and then uh, lock this knot down which is uh, and you can see now it's very tight and uh, I'm gonna uh, use my bow meter to test this uh, to test this uh, terminal to make sure it's getting uh, voted out of the okay, so this is the screw that I used to create it to build this terminal, and I just restrided the top here so it's 5 16 inches. That's all there is to it. Okay, this is the final product you can see here. I re-threaded this because this original thread was too big instead of the um, 5 16 inches that fit this knot you can see this does not fit the knot it stop right there can't can't turn anymore because this is the incorrect thread because it's too big so I re-threaded these using my uh, die and tap tool right here for the 516 inches 
as you can see here 5 over 16 that's the tab and then you just tap into this uh, this uh, screw and shred it down to 5 16 inches okay Five sixteen inches. There you have it. And I'm just going to test the terminal. 12.5. 12.5. 12 12.5. Good. So this is now good for 5 16 inches. So I'm going to show you one more time. This terminal broke. This terminal that came with the battery is looking like this except this is 5 16 inches except it broke so this terminal actually broke came off so i have to use this i have this um, screw lying around in my house so i just drill a hole in between here right here and then uh, screw this down and the thread is not correct 5 16 inches so the knot uh, wasn't able to fit into it so i have to use the die and tap set i have uh, the the die tap and die set so I die the thread to 5 16 inches I drill this in and then I die the set into six, 5 16 inches and then I find this I found this uh, metal piece and then um, I just tap it down uh, use my screwdriver like this so that uh, it lock into position in between there the next thing I do is I just put a washer over this right and then just uh, make sure this thing is level just you know like that and then I put my lock and knock lock and knot over it that's how I fix the um, now it's tight now that that's how I fix the uh, battery terminal okay using my spare screws Okay, there you have it. And this terminal was the original terminal that came loose out of that hole there. You can see, you know, came loose. So I can't use this anymore because it came loose out of that hole. So now I just uh, have to DIY modify the terminal so I can use this back. Okay, so what I want to show you is my DIY terminal. I want to prove to you that the terminal now is getting 12, point 12 volts. So I have this uh, thing that's going to help me to clamp down the um, this voltage meter. Um, so here we go. Um, I need uh, two clamps. Let me open this thing. I think I'd go like this. Here we go. This is a 60 pieces alligator clap uh, clip. So what we need, we can use this, um, but I prefer to use uh, um, this guy here. Okay, and this here. So let me show you what I uh, want to do here. So I'm gonna.
turn my uh, voltage meter to 20 volts DC and uh, now this is uh, red positive so I am going to uh, whoa this is so hard okay maybe not use this alligator clip instead and um, let's see what we got yep so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp these together and I'm gonna put the negative over here this is my DIY repair of the terminal I almost went all out and bought, bought a new terminal luckily um, you know I re remember I had this kind of uh, screw so I um, I just drill a hole in between the post and that 5 16 inches uh, terminal and then um, I was able to create this DIY as you can see here use the two alligator clip clamp on the voltage meter prompts I'm getting 12.52 meter 12.52 uh, voltage okay so there's my DIY repair